This is Harold Dempsey with another Harold's Helpful Hints. Today's episode, preparing your mower. First of all, what we're going to do, of course, the mower is not running. Uh, we're going to check the oil in this. This here has a uh, Briggs and Stratton motor in it. So the dipstick takes some twist about a quarter of a turn. We're going to pull it out, put it back in. You do not have to turn that dipstick to check the oil. Just set it back down flat in. There's a couple grooves. Just set it in there. Pull it back out of there. And on this particular dipstick, it's got two uh, dots on there. The top dot is the full mark. The uh, bottom dot is the add mark. So as long as we're within those two marks, then uh, the oil is okay. You can look at your air filter. Uh, it's just a quick uh, cover over here on the, the left side. Pull it out, uh, the cover off, and then you're gonna look at the air filter. This here looks pretty good. Uh, so we'll put it back in and uh, put the cover back on. You know, that uh, air filter is covered with a bunch of debris, grass, leaves, that sort of thing, a lot of dust, dirt. I suggest uh, instead of blowing it out, go to the local parts dealer or mower dealer and pick up the air filter that belongs in there. Compressed air, you can blow with compressed air. We suggest not doing that because it the compressed air can rip that element and there will be a hole in that element and then debris, the dirt and all that's gonna pass through there in through the carburetor and get ingested into the engine and next thing you know, the engine's gonna be ruined. So whatever you do, don't blow out with compressed air. So there we've checked the engine oil, air filter. We'll look at the starter rope, make sure that there's no frays or anything in that there where it's gonna break on you when you go to start. Everything's good there. Make sure your handle knobs is all tight. Nothing loose there where it's gonna take and fall apart on you and you lose your knobs if you're out mowing your yard. Make sure your wheels is all not loose. Uh, your gestures is all tight, uh, front and back. Uh, make sure that they're all set at the proper height. We've had mowers come in at the back to be set at one height and you might have the front one set even with what the back would be, but then the other one might be set completely different. So that's going to throw that mower off on your cutting height. If you do take and go under the mower to clean out the deck, unplug the spark plug wire. Take it off. Even though that you do have to hold that bell to get that mower to start, we've got to think safety first. So unplug that spark plug wire. Then Always tilt the mower with the carburetor side up. That keeps the engine oil from running in, getting into the carburetor, soaking the oil filter, and then you've got a no, no start situation. Then you can go ahead and check for debris or make sure the blade's tight and so forth. Then once, once you're done with all that, put your spark plug wire back on and go ahead and put your gas in there. These mowers today, a lot of them has got a place inside the fuel tank that they call as the fuel gauge. Fill the, put the gas to the, to the bottom of that fuel gauge that's in there uh, and don't overfill it because the way the gas caps are designed, if those get saturated with gas, the tank can't breathe and then it won't run. Join me next time for another Harold's Helpful Hints.